Welcome to Lindyvana. I'm Gabby, this is Sam, and together with our Sprinter Van, we invite you along on our van life adventures. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Having spent most of our time on our trip, vlogging and filming for the other Scotland videos, we decided to take it easy with filming, knowing that our trip was coming to an end. We knew filming and editing really takes a lot of effort, and if nothing else on this trip, our appreciation for other van life vlogging channels grew by tenfold. We'd already spent about a month in Scotland, exploring the Isle of Skye, followed by the NC500, and if you'd like to see those videos, and find them up here in the corner. But once we completed the NC500, we had a week to spare before returning south for my dad's birthday. So we decided to tick off some final bits that we haven't seen yet, as well as returning to the Isle of Skye for a couple of nights. Where are the friends? Behind the sign. Behind the sign. Is it a monster? Is it... Oh no, it's not a monster, it's friends. Five little friends, two boys and three girls. Our first stop in our last week on the trip was somewhat urban in the town of Fort Augustus. We spent a couple of nights in Fort Augustus and explored the local town and of course the famous Loch Ness. Once we left Fort Augustus we headed back in the direction of Inverness but instead Dotted north slightly to go and see Plodder Falls. It was a very long drive up some pretty rough single track dirt roads, but it was definitely worth the drive. And it also served as a perfect spot to sleep over for the night. Deep in the dense Scottish forests. The next morning, we drove to go and hike up the Fearish Monument, but unfortunately we've got no idea what it was. And if you know, then do let us know in the comments below. But after we completed the roughly three hour hike, we had some dinner and had an early night to help ensure that we got plenty of sleep for the next day. <laughs> well, good morning. We've just parked at the bottom of Ben Nevis and we're gonna, we say we're gonna go for a walk. We're not gonna say we're gonna make it to the top because we're not sure what the weather's gonna be like um, and we don't have the best equipment for this season. The weather looks a-okay right now, but we get drops here and there. So we'll see how we go towards the top. So this is where we got to last time. We did a short loop back to the hostel last year. So this time at least we made it further than we did last time. Let's go. Climbing into the cloud now. for a quick chocolate break. Sheep are still going higher than we are, so we must carry on therefore. But we can just see the sun 
on the other valleys and it's so pretty and it's not raining so we're fairly happy yeah it's pretty high <laughs> i'm getting pretty high Ben Nevis is the highest mountain in the UK, standing at 1,345 metres above sea level. And we aren't experienced mountain climbers. Anything that's come close to that is when we climbed Penny Fan in the south of Wales. And we were the only people on the whole mountain for the whole day. So it certainly felt quite eerie towards the top. And that coupled with my fear of heights actually made us feel quite proud of our attempt. And we reached snow doesn't feel that cold but it must be around zero I guess so yeah snowy proper in the cloud weather's starting to turn a little bit the path is kind of a bit more abstract now as well well we've just been walking and saying we're not the only ones here because the sheep are knowing the path but does that look like a like a sheep print to you hmm. i don't want to have to fight with a wolf or something could there be a wolf here or is it a fox we came so close to the top of the mountain reaching an altitude of 1010 meters but we didn't feel confident continuing, so I made the hard but unregrettable decision to turn around and return back down the mountain. Our decision was based on several factors. We weren't prepared for the wintry conditions at the top. We had no ice cleats for our boots and no experience. We were the only people on the mountain, and so it just didn't feel safe. Last hurdle. Why would they do this? My legs are shaking so much. Jelly legs. You can do it. Oh, I'm not sure I can go down the other side. Oh. Yeah. Almost there. Can we see the van yet? No. Okay. The hope is in sight. Yay. We made it back. And our legs are jelly. And now back in the lovely van. Once we had a cup of tea and something to eat, we headed towards Glencoe for our final night's stay in the Scottish Highlands. We found a secluded spot in a valley just outside Glencoe and were gifted with the best views to end our incredible journey on. Scotland should definitely be on anyone's bucket list and we can't wait to return as and when it's safe to do so. But please do get in touch with us either in the comments below or through our Instagram messages if you would like any tips or advice on travelling Scotland in a camper van. Until next time, keep safe look after each other. Have a happy new year, over and out.